What's up guys, the ABK videos. I make military content, put it on the internet for you. My social media is in the links down below if you wanna go watch that. Today we're gonna to be watching Army Combatives, which is pretty much Army's version of like MMA. There's Marine Corps martial arts and there's Army martial arts. Army, uh, Air Force and Navy do not have their own, but uh, I'm a Navy Corpsman, so I've actually been able to experience the Marine Corps martial arts, been through a couple of those classes. Not a couple, like a couple months worth. Uh, I did grow up as a wrestler. I uh, got into MMA Muay Thai when I was in high school, uh, still doing Jiu Jitsu. So I feel like I have somewhat of a uh, viewpoint on this. You guys can all form your own opinions in the comments down below, but uh, let's jump into this. I feel like, before we jump in as a preset, I feel like a lot of military organizations don't focus as much as technique. I mean, we do fight with guns, so the hand to hand, especially for regular people, a lot of people taking these classes do like admin work. So. I know when I was going through the Marine Corps Martial Arts program, they weren't as technique-based as they should have. Like, riding hips wasn't a thing, applying pressure wasn't a thing. The way that they taught submissions was kind of, you know, hit or miss. And a lot of the moves were just kind of ridiculous. So, I'm actually really curious as to what the Army has to offer. I like it. Starting off strong. Hand placement on the hip. See, I like that. I like when they show actual technique, transitions, and applying pressure. Like, when you do it with the Marine Corps, it's just like, no pressure. Any, like, blue belt in jiu-jitsu, nine times out of ten, it's gonna choke out a black belt in MCMAP in the Marine Corps. Unless that dude has other training outside of MCMAP. Past point of exhaustion. Yeah, I already, I already like the army, the army combatives program more than the McMap program. Yeah, see, they're showing good technique for jujitsu, man. I don't know if they bring in a jujitsu guy and he's just wearing army camo right now, but. I like it. I like the dump. See, they're doing actual MMA techniques, and that's what I love. See, that, that was a bad move. To reach around like that? Nah, that, you would have got mounted. The dude knew what he was doing. Taking his back? Get lower and ride the hips. <laughs> okay, that dude. <laughs> Some of the dudes aren't the best, but the instructors definitely knew what they were doing. See, if he just passes that shitty ass guard, he would have had full mount. The instructors know what they're doing, don't get me wrong. The instructors had great technique. Some of these. Okay. Okay. They do try going for a fancy throw. <laughs> Good for him, man. Yeah, and then you just get like super uncoordinated people like that. I kind of want to, if there's any army like dudes that instructors anything that are in close to California, San Diego, and I could jump in on one of your classes, maybe record, get in a couple fights. Oh my god. Hip toss! Oh, full mount. Good for her. Yeah, she has, she has good technique. She has good technique. That guy should have grabbed full mount. He had the chance and he circled around his head. How funny did- Oh! Oh! 
Dude, I would have threw the chivalry out of the window and I would have slammed her on her head. She started it off with a... <laughs> oh no, man. Oh, I would have slammed the I would have slammed the girl on her head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, triangle. No, you should have stayed on top, dude. Put all your weight on the triangle. Ooh. Off balance around us. <laughs> dude, I love this. I love this. The the army does it better than Marine Corps guys. I'm telling you, this is <laughs> this is great, bro. That dude's hands big as shit. I bet that slap hurt. <laughs> oh. Bro, that dude's fun the shit out of him. That dude was probably a wrestler back in high school, to be honest, and the other guy probably didn't have ground game. Oh. Oh, he has his arm trapped under him. Low kicks will get you, bro. Low kicks will get you. When you, first time, if you guys ever take like a Muay Thai class, and you haven't been like low kicked by someone who actually knows how to throw their hips into it, game changing, man. I'm telling you, it's not just like getting kicked by your friend. If he can plant his hips and throw into it, bro. <laughs> I remember the first time I was ever taking any type of Muay Thai MMA class. I think I was still around middle school, if not high school. And this grown man, I'm sparring with this grown man. So he's not Levitt, he's not landing like heavy overhand rights or you know any bombs on my head. But he was just dismantling my legs, and I'm in mean, like chopping them out from under me, bro. I was I came home with those bruises covered everywhere, man. Alright, I'm ended at 6:19. Dude, that was great. Like, I love, I love how the army is doing this program. They're, they're doing it right, man. I wish the navy would copy something like this so we could just beat the shit out of each other. Um, love the mats. Love how the instructors actually know what they're doing. There's a lot of instructors who like pass the course. Micmap is a lot of like PT and boots and utes. Like when I was in the Micmap class, like, like 75% of the class was just us running around the track in boots and utes or getting push, you know, burpees, push-ups, whatever, getting slayed. And then you get to the technique part and the way they have you in your stance is just like so low. And there's like this one move that's like a side hit and it's like that. And it's like, where in the world there's like, or like the front kick comes out to like maybe the extension of your knee already. And then you hit the floor and drag it back. And it's just like so unrealistic. And these dudes try using that in a fight against someone who has an MMA background, wrestling, Muay Thai, whatever, they're just gonna get dismantled. So I really like how they obviously brought in some jiu-jitsu experts to train the instructors, then to train the army guys on how to properly perform these techniques. Great job, army. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. I would appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.